And we are live dito po ngayon sa 899 Action Center. Linggo na naman po. At uh, very educational ang ating pag-uusapan. Very informative din po. So again, welcome, welcome to 899 Action Center. Welcome to the Upo Fest. Summer na naman, Upo Festival na naman po yan. Basta pagdating ng summer, naramdaman yung init, Upo, agad-agad yan. <laughs> so get ready to embark on a green and healthy adventure that celebrates the wonders of nature's bounty. Join us as we pay uh, a vibrant and versatile world of Upo, showcasing incredible flavors of Upo and other vegetables, yung kanyang nutritional benefits, and of course, yung kanyang uh, culinary possibilities. In this episode po, ngayong linggo, you'll discover a color, different colors, shapes, textures of local Manitoban proudly display of their freshest harvest, specifically Upo. And more to come. We'll discuss po nating guest speaker po yan. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce our guest speaker. It's a great, great, great pleasure and honor to introduce our charismatic guest speaker tonight, Miss Lila Castro. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat, uh, mga taga Manitoba, na Pilipino, mga ka-204. Magandang mm-hmm. hapon, Aldous. Thank you for having me here. Thank you, thank you po. I- Bibiyan ka ng konting background po yung ating mga audience kung sino po yung ating guest speaker. Uh, Lily Castro is a true luminary in her field with a remar- remarkable track record of accomplishments under her name. Her remarkable journey and expertise have made her sought after speaker, inspiring audiences around the world with her insightful perspectives. As a recipient of multiple prestigious awards, Lila Castro has consistently demonstrated excellence and made a significant impact here in Canada. Her unwavering dedication, innovative ideas, and groundbreaking contributions have propelled her to the forefront of the field, earning the admiration and respect of peers and professionals alike. Again, maraming 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 salamat po. Ate Lila, at napaun na kanyang po kami ang 899 Action Center para i-share po ninyo yung mga experiences niyo, mga motivations po ninyo sa ating mga audiences ngayon po. Basta ikaw, Aldous, and anything like the 899 Action Center that's been very informative, helping Filipinos a lot. So, you know, um, I'll be very happy to come and, uh, you know, be interviewed by you. No, <laughs> thank you, thank you po. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ngayon po, uh, gaya na sabi natin kanina sa introduction, pagdating ng summer, isa lang ang pinag-uusapan dito sa Winnipeg, Upo Festival. At na-organize po nito yung ating magaling po na guest speaker na si Lila Castro. Ngayon po, let's go back. Paano nagsimula ang Upo? What's the history of Upo Festival po si Lila? It's a very interesting history. And I would say, uh, nag-umpis ang Upo out of love. You know, out of love for the 204 community. Mm-hmm. And we're not just talking here of my love for the 204 community, but we're talking here of the love of my other co-admins mm-hmm. in 204 Filipino Forum and Marketplace. They are Kaiser, uh, Aleli, and Chari, their love for the community. Nagumpisa po ito, that was uh, in the middle of pandemic. Mm-hmm. And uh, ang maganda nun is uh, one of our ad- admins at the time, uh, and until now, she's a licensed uh registered nar- nurse here in in Manitoba. So, ang nasa isip niya talaga is, you know, um, she felt na, na obliged to, to provide, you know, the best information and to recommend uh, the best activities na magandang pagkaabulahan ng mga Pilipino habang sila ay, uh, you know, in the middle of pandemic and also to comply din sa mga orders to isolate. Uh, then fortunately, you know, I also came across Don Fernandez, mm-hmm. and and he has so many ideas. And then, ilang years na rin ako sinasabi na ate, if there's uh, um, yung uh, contest ng mga kalabasa, mm-hmm. or you know the the pumpkin contest sa mga Manitoban mm-hmm. sa rural area, why don't we have our own? And we, that's the bottle board. And uh, you know, I, I got right right away the nod from the other admins. Kasi sa kanila is sabi nga nila, you know, the Filipinos most of the time are in sa bahay, uh, and uh, you know, it's during isolation, di ba? Napaka uh, parang nakakalungkot, nakakalungkot, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you're you're like uh, just one one inch away from becoming dis- depressed, right? Mm-hmm. So 
uh, sabi nila, uh, I think other than, you know, posting about regulations like dapat sampu lang sa loob ng bahay, sampu sa labas, you know, whatever, uh, I think we should also encourage them, you know, uh, to do something that will make them happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, doon nga namin uh, na, na cook or doon nga namin uh, na isipang isilang yung, yung Upo Fest, which is short for Upo Festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, this 899 uh, Banatine itself was very instrumental uh, because it started from the backyard here. Mm -hmm. uh, we were surprised kasi sabi namin, no, nag-announce kami sa 204, may dadating kaya. And we were surprised because at, at least 50 people mm -hmm. dumating, dala ang naghahabaan at nagtataba ang mga upo. upo. Ganon. So, so nakita namin na, I mean, this is working and maybe the following year we should have something bigger. Mm -hmm. So, napag-usapan yung bigger at for sure magkakaroon siya ng anak. So, mag-expand. Mag so, ano po yung plano natin? Sino sure kayo? No? Ano po yung yes. plano natin in the future, no? aside from Upo Festival? Mm -hmm. So, this year is the third year of Upo Festival. Last year was the second year. And as of last year, we made it bigger. So, we transferred the venue to, to Maple's Arena. Uh, the reason why Maples Arena at the time, uh, ano na, uh, the pandemic has loosened up, right? Mm -hmm. But just the same, uh, may mga quota quota dona, that if you're going to be indoor, then uh, it has to be 30%, 50% of the capacity, which is why uh, we use the Maples Arena. And then, uh, nagdagdag na rin kami ng mga bagong uh, categories for the contest. By the way, the Upo Festival is a contest. Um, Ang uh, pinaka-major contest po dito ay pahabaan at pabigatan ng upo. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the past years, ang mga nanalo ay more than 8 feet ang haba. Ang mga nanalong bigat ay halos 10 kilo. Mm -hmm. And those were all har harvested within our province in Manitoba. So last year, nagdagdag kami ng, uh, we call it yung, yung funny vegetables, meaning... Uh, kunwari, upo, nagulat ka, bakit mo hang aha siya, ganon. Uh -huh. So, pinadala namin. And then, anything na weird looking, na, na, na nakakatuwa na, na mga gulay. Other than that, nagdagdag rin kami ng uh, acrylic painting workshop and contest for the kids. Uh -huh. And then, uh, of course, we encourage yung, this is something very nostalgic, sentimental for yung mga 60s, 70s, those who really enjoyed, you know, um, the all throughout uh, backyard gardening at saka yung mga gulay natin sa Pilipinas. So we really encourage them to come. And I think that was 20 minutes of Zumba dance. So we allowed them to, to do the dance. And then last year, we also had the community cooking. And ang nakakatuwa doon, nakakaaliw, uh, we invited key people in our community. So ito yung mga politicians. And talagang gin, ginayat nila yung mga pakbet. Mm -hmm. I mean, the ingredients of the pakbet to the point that may kinulang na ingredients, may nagbebenta rin within, you know, the venue ng backyard vegetable niya na malengke yung, I think that was Devi Sharma and uh, I I forgot, oh, Elea Gasan and Devi Sharma. So pumunta sila doon, namili sila. It was like, you know, for them to experience our culture, yung pupunta tayo sa palengke. Uh -huh. um, nakakatuwa talaga kasi um, hindi ko akalain na may makakapansin. Correct. ba At ang nakapansin, hindi kapwa Pilipino, kundi it's a mainstream media. Uh, I mean, the, this person is known in the mainstream names, mainstream media. He's, the person is Ace Burpee. Mm -hmm. uh, there were two contributors to the event mm -hmm. uh, who became part of the Ace Burpee's uh, top list of 100 fascinating Manitobans. Wow. Yeah, and because of that, that's so inspiring, di ba? Uh, kasi mm -hmm. it must be something really good. Kaya this year, magdadagdag pa kami ng mga segments. Um, so we want to encourage, hindi lang, uh, kasi, you know, uh, people can be busy doing backyard uh, gardening or mm -hmm. they can be busy to going to the gym mm -hmm. or being an athlete. So, Nagdagdag kami, magdadagdag kami ng isang segment and that is the Patintero mm -hmm. tournament. Oh, okay. And of course, Patintero is parang wala-wala lang na game sa atin, uh, di ba? Sa street, di ba? But plan. our goal here is uh, to have it demonstrated by athletes. So this will be a collaboration with uh, V-League. And then, uh, just like the Lato-Lato in the Philippines mm -hmm. that's coming back as an alternative to kids, you know, 
getting hooked dun sa, sa social mm-hmm. media. Correct. Um, we this is uh, you know we're introducing here you know so that our kids will be playing it sa ano sa kalye uh-huh. and uh, you know just like the the major prices of longest upo and biggest upo, we will also be giving a hefty uh, prize to the winners to the mm-hmm. winning team. So we will also be awarding a thousand dollars to the winning team. Wow. Yeah, and uh, other than that, uh, we're also thinking of putting an amateur singing contest for our seniors. Mm-hmm. Uh, because that's something very nostalgic and, uh, you know, uh, talagang uh, back home, I know when they were young, di ba? May perya, mm. then pagka ganitong panahon, di ba? May amateur kids singing contest, may ampli, right? Mm-hmm. So, we want uh, that to come back. Kasi I know, you know, feeling feeling young, just like we observed it last year, there were um, seniors uh, who were there and tuwan-tuwa sila. Mm-hmm. Ganon. So I think it's because, you know, parang they are in Manitoba, but but they are feeling themselves kung, kung uh, you know, when they were still young, right? So we're thinking of adding that amateur singing contest for the seniors. Amateur singing contest for the seniors. Yes. Ang daming, ano, daming uh, uh, i-showcase, no? Yes. Ng uh, Upo Fest this coming, uh, sep- se- this coming September. Oh, it's gonna be September 2nd September because 2nd. that's the best time na mag-ani. So it can't be, you know, it can't be middle of August. It can't be middle of September kasi baka by the time mag-start na mag-cross, so it has to be like first week of September. Yeah, at saka maganda yung weather sa outside. Yes, no? yes. Pag-usapan natin mamaya yung, ano, yung frosting. Uh, yes. Sa, in regards to gardening. <laughs> Nabalik tayo ate Lila sa ano sa Upo Fest. Um, yung Upo Festival pa this coming September 2nd, open po yan for everybody. Is it diverse or Filipinos lang po? Um, we announced to Filipinos uh, for now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that is going to be easier to manage. But since it's becoming like unknown uh, anywhere, if if there will be people from other cultures who will sh- who will show up, mm-hmm. then we will be more than happy to to have them uh, join the contest. Ganun. Because uh, our long term, actually, our long term goal is for this to be open to everyone, mm-hmm. uh, everyone within Manitoba and even outside Manitoba. Outside Manitoba. And and that was uh, the first reason why we increase uh, the price for the longest open for the. For the heaviest upo to one thousand dollars last year, mm-hmm. para yung those who are outside Manitoba, they will think it's it's worth it, you know, Correct. to do that long drive or, you know, to go to take the airplane. Yung lang, it's a bit tricky, right? <laughs> How are you gonna bring the the long upo? So uh, that that's uh, that was our intention of increasing it, and then uh, and uh, that's a good question actually because. Uh, Surprisingly, last year as well, um, it was a highly multicultural, you know, constituency of people okay. who who uh, joined the event. Mm-hmm. In fact, doon sa ating acrylic painting workshop, uh, the winners were, you know, a, a young Filipina and a young East Indian. Mm-hmm. At may carrots. Uh-huh. <laughs> may carrots despite, despite na ang team natin at that time was bahay kubo. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ganon. <laughs> Uh, so, nakakatawa actually. May mga ganong uh, twists, may mga ganong surprises. Okay. So, speaking of diversity and maraming twists and surprises, um, I know nabanggit mo kanina, it's more, like, starts sa upo. Then it went up to, it leveled up to more on enterprising, dissemination, kung paano bang feeling ng isang mana, namamalengke. No? What are the other goals na pwedeng, or hope natin i-achieve dito sa Upo Festival? Um, ang maganda kasi sa Upo Festival, um, yung, yung, uh, the event itself is just like, uh, you know, the climax of it. Or, uh, mm-hmm. it's, uh, y- yung, uh, the f- it's celebrating what we harvest from the backyard. Correct. But, uh, you know, ito yung pinakamasarap kasi na i-work na it is, it is the chasing and not the prey. So, Correct. we we know that, right? Chasing meaning, um, before we go to the event or even watch it, uh, you know, uh, live or via social media, ang nag-enjoy tayo at nag-benefit ay tayo when, when you know, every day of our life, we would go to the backyard, mm-hmm. right? To, to start planting yung ating mga seedlings and then yung care na gagawin natin every day and uh, maybe come, uh, 
yung iba kasi by end of June talagang may mga na harvest na sila yung mga talbos talbos so enjoying that and mm -hmm. then uh, yung ating upo fest is you know coming together mm -hmm. right and and celebrate as a community correct because we work so hard correct. you know and uh, it i believe it really worked during the time of the pandemic mm -hmm. tinan mo nga naman di ba i mean buhay tayo di ba and ang 204 lalong lumago and it was really utilized the 204 para ma-survive natin ang pandemic na ito so uh, you know yun ang hindi natin nakikita it it was the chasing uh, or the journey but uh, you know the event itself is just celebrating you know all the hard work that we did yeah. uh in our journey, you know, before we harvest uh, our backyard mm -hmm. produce. Ang ganda nito, simula lang talaga, very a simple one to, uh, na yun naging complex, at saka kasi maragay sabi natin nila kanina, it's a celebration, no? Since matagal tayo, two years tayo na bakasyon, I'm very expectation natin this coming year, malago in terms of uh, gardening lang language. Um, at Lila, um, in regards to next level tayo, I know you're very organized, is, isa kang uh, community leader. Pag-usapan naman natin po, and then i-connect po natin sa Upo Festival, gaano kahirap ang mag-organize <laughs> ng isang Upo Festival? And you can share them the strategies and everything, right? Yes. Um, well, to be able to pull through an event like this, all the ingredients have to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say ingredients, hindi yun ako lang, hindi yun yung volunteers lang. But, you know, it takes a lot of resources. When I say resources, money and human resources and information as well. And, uh, you know, good ideas. Um, and also, you, you have to provide time in order to spread the word to everyone in a creative way. Mm -hmm. Because you spread it in such a way na mararamdaman nila yung value. It's not tricking them that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, oh, maganda ito, but, you know, to make them feel that there's really value in, in this uh, kind of event. Fortunately, uh, um, I was a practicing project manager for a long time mm -hmm. for IT project. In, in in fact, there was a time I was PMP, PMP certified, but you know, I've, I've thrown the towel years ago. Mm -hmm. So, wala na ako sa IT. But, but yung uh, mga ginagawa bilang uh, project manager, in-apply ko dito, talagang mm -hmm. 100%. Like, uh, the different parts of, you know, doing the project, like, you, you should have the initializing it, and then uh, uh, planning for it, execution, and afterwards, lessons learned. So, mm -hmm. talagang nandoon. And, of course, if there's a plan, then it's in brainstorming. What do what do we want to do? Have it validated by the experts. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think this is gonna be relevant? Do you think this is what the what's needed in the community right now? And then, of course, yung ating uh, pinaka boundary dito is paano natin to ma afford, right? right? So there has to be yes. finances for this one. Um, and then, of course, the execution in such a way na kung ang budget mo is just eight thousand dollars, you shouldn't go beyond that, right? right. Otherwise, sino ang sino magbabayad? <laughs> yes, di ba? And then after that is uh, very important yung lessons learned, like uh, you know what what uh, what didn't work out, uh -huh. and then uh, what worked out, and uh -huh. then what do you think you know we inject the new things we will inject the next time. Ganun. So. Um, I had that knowledge and you know I'm happy to share to mm -hmm. everyone na it's not easy yeah. it's, complex. <laughs> it's complex yes and and not only that um uh importante talaga kasi kahit pa systematic but hindi mo hindi mo inilalabas yung kalidad mm -hmm. it should not just be ay basta may magawa di ba dapat nandoon yung kalidad nandoon yung quality so that yung mga magpa-finance doon sa project mo, they'll really appreciate it. And you know what, Aldous, uh, this is what surprised me because um, I do get sponsors mm -hmm. for, for our event. And may mga tinatawag tayong major sponsors, like, you know, the, the highest that I ask is just $500. I don't go beyond that because mm -hmm. I don't want to overwhelm anyone. Mm -hmm. I don't want to overburden anyone. Mm -hmm. And that $100, you know, uh, whoever sponsors it to our quality events, mm -hmm. ma-reimburse ma naman nila sa tax, mm -hmm. ganun. And uh, normally, uh, of course, just like you, you know it, diba? Because mm -hmm. you also sponsor. Ang nakakatuwa niyan, when, when uh, you know, the person I asked to, spon to sponsor, I talk to the person, biglang nagiging iba yung tema ng usapan namin. So, 
I thought it would be like, oh, ito yung money and uh, bahala ka na. Uh-huh. Ganun, so, makakapag-advertise na ako sa cover photo. So, I thought that would be the conversation. But, but iba talaga, 100% of them, what they tell me, you know what? I am so inspired of what's happening sa 204. Yes. Ganun. And uh, t- just let me know, sabi niya ganun. Uh, talaga, and y- you've experienced it, right? Na nakikita namin kung paano nakakatulong ang 204. Mm-hmm. And uh, kung nakakatulong ang 204 to to strengthen, empower uh, the those who are members of mm-hmm. the group, it also helps their business. Correct. Right? So Correct. parang, oh, dahil umaasenso sila, dahil may tumutulong sa kanilang umangat, or mm-hmm. may nasasandalan sila, asensado rin itong mga sponsors. Mm-hmm. Ganun. So, laging tema ng usapan namin, ganun. Mm-hmm. Yun. And uh, which also made me appreciate, you know, sponsors like you. Kasi kung wala kayo, you are like a big chunk or, you know, you are a, a like a key variable in the equation. You really have to be there. And the heart of the sponsor has to be there para magtuloy-tuloy itong uh, very beautiful na Pupo Festival. Yes, po. Ang pinaka main ingredient po diyan talaga is let's yung language natin gamitin sa pagluluto. The main ingredient po sa isang festival is the project manager itself. Kung may puso po yung nagmamanage o yung leader ng isang proyekto, hindi no questions asked po doon. At the same time plus yung the integrity and credibility po ng leader and the project will follow by itself, no? So, at nila I know you have lots of uh, ideas. Give some tips naman po dun sa upcoming, you know, na mga project manager, how to, in one strategy, digital strategy. Can you give them tips po? Uh, for that one, uh, fortunately, there's a platform that you can use, which is for free. And mm-hmm. right now, that pl- platform has uh, 54,000 um Organic. organic. I think we can use the word uh, organic uh, members, or we can safely say that 80% of that 54,000 are Filipino Manitobans, and perhaps 90% are Manitobans. So, number one, um, kung makakatipid kayo sa pagpapalaganap ng information, mm-hmm. and then the 204 is uh, it's a very good you know place for you to advertise for free okay. that's number one number two um well we can let's say we want we we have conceptualized an event and then we have validated that such event uh, you know has already happened in other parts of the world and mm-hmm. most likely it's gonna work here mm-hmm. um and i want to you know make an information about it i want to make a poster May mga free na mga apps that you can use, you can download, and all you need is just your phone. Mm-hmm. And yung mga apps na yon, may mga nakaredi na doon na mga templates that that are not copyrighted, mm-hmm. and so that you can you can you know have a poster uh, na maii uh, maiilagay niyo doon sa kung ano man yung platform na ginagamit yon. Yung poster na to is uh, hindi na copyrighted yung yung mga pictures tapos napakaganda pa mm-hmm. and then third is you know collaborate communicate talk to talk to you know prospective sponsors because ang ang uh, if it's a not for profit uh, uh, company like the two for volunteers that we have mm-hmm. uh, or it's not a not not for profit company but it is a community oriented uh, event you can actually you know ask um, a business owner to sponsor for you and then you can provide an acknowledgement you know receipt for whatever you receive from them and they can actually uh, apply it uh, or use it sa kanilang tax re- return under marketing mm-hmm. if you are a charity so definitely uh, you can provide a receipt itself mm-hmm. and uh, for that one um, yung mga sponsors they can actually file it sa uh, charity mm-hmm. I mean uh, you know for that uh, uh, aspect of you know whatever you you call it in taxation and then other than that uh, you can always collaborate with uh, with uh, other groups mm-hmm. uh, with 204 with uh, other organizations in our community in the multicultural community and then uh, you know explain to them the value mm-hmm. of you know what what you're planning to do so you can you can have you know volunteer or simply post if you need volunteers 
Um, and then there's another thing. Um, if, say, uh, you really feel that this is uh, a great event, and uh, like in the, the past one or two years, you have uh, done that, and um, it benefited the community, you can also apply for grants. Yeah, from the government. Natin yan, okay. Ayon, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I can even help you. You know, right? If you want, um, and uh, it's gonna help. Malaking yeah. tulong. Po Malaking yan. tulong. Um, for a like a festival like this, nagusto lang magorganize. Kailan bang iregister ba tayo? Um, so you mga licenses for for this one. Um, hindi nyo ito kailangan na i-register na magkakaroon ka ng event. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, you need to book resources. So important mm -hmm. yun. Let's say you will, be, uh, uh, you will be utilizing a venue which is an indoor venue, uh, Maples Community Center, then you simply have to book it. And then mm -hmm. if you will have liquor, then you're gonna get a liquor permit for that. Mm -hmm. If it's gonna be an outside event, let's say sa Kildonan, and meron kang malakas na Na, na sounds doon, mm -hmm. of course. So other than uh, renting Kildonan, you also need to to provide to 311 mm -hmm. um, two weeks in advance a sound permit. Mm -hmm. And then let's say what you plan to have is magkakaroon kayo ng parada. Mm -hmm. Ganon. So you will be using not just the side street but you know, kung saan dumadaan ng mga vehicles. You also need to get a parade permit. I cannot recall anymore how much I paid for the per, per, uh, for the permit for the for the use of the road, but it's not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if uh, I paid a hundred dollars for that. Uh, but other than that, if you will be using the 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 road, kunwari, mm -hmm. meron uh, sa atin, kunwari, uh, parada ng lechon, right? Mm -hmm. You know, hi, uh, malay mo, di ba? Um, then uh, you also need to get an insurance for that one. And you just call an insurance agent and then tell them that uh, because you will be having this community event to damit mm -hmm. ng, ng road. So, ano ba yung, uh, magkano ba ito? And then give you a quote. And then you will be asked, ano ba yung, yung uh, up to what damage do you want to pay? Ganon. And I think uh, when, when I became Ermana, tas nagkaroon ng Santa Cruz, and I paid somewhere uh, less than $300 for that, which is not bad at all for mm -hmm. the insurance. And po, and that is the tunan. So, yeah. well, verse po sa tililas na nag-organize yeah. mga event. Then, kung balak nyo po mag-organize uh, ng event po ninyo, um, sa description line po ng Facebook Live namin dito, at the same time sa page po namin, and the same, sa YouTube later on, ilalagay po natin yung contact number ni Atilila, then you can talk to her personally. Or just search na lang po sa Facebook, yeah. Atilila Castro. Kitang-kita nyo po agad-agad. Or message us to all for... Filipino Marketplace. Balik po tayo sa, ano, sa Upo Fest. Nabangit natin kanina ate is meron tayong longest, tapos heaviest. Ano ba yung ibang category natin dito ng uh, pagpipili, may selection? Uh, yes, yeah, so for the vegetable uh, category, so we will have the longest Upo and the heaviest Upo. Mm -hmm. And then yung, yung third is, kasi hindi lang naman Upo ang tanim natin sa backyard, di ba? Yes meron rin tayong tanim na mga talong, mm -hmm. di ba? Minsan yung talong natin, nag-split siya, nagbukhang parang gano'n, <laughs> di ba? Or yung, uh, yung ano, let's say, nagmukhang uh, parang mukha yung, yung uh, kamatis, gano'n. So, meron tayong funny vegetables category. Ayun. Ayun. So, dalhin nyo po yun sa, sa, ano, sa, on the event itself. And you know what? Last year, kasama yung talaga sa, alam mo, tawa ng tawa na yung mga tao kasi nga natutuwa sila dun sa mga, sinabit ng mga tao. I think there were around 23 submissions last year uh -huh. na nagulat rin ako kasi sineryoso nila yon ganon. And um, sa, dun nga sa, sa point na yon walang talo because if you're, you know, if you're a winner, then uh, we will give you, you know, like, not really a major prize, but, you know, a good door prize. Mm -hmm. If you're, not a winner, just the same, may makukuha ka pa rin. For yes. participating the event. <laughs> yes, and I just want to add na importante rin na, na kasi kasama to sa brainstorm namin because you can all, you can just go to a grocery, buy something that looks funny, di ba? Yes. Tapos dalhin mo. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Kaya importante rin, uh, 
ilalagay namin to sa mechanics um kailangan na may proof kayo na yan talaga ay nanggaling sa inyong bakuran um normally ang proof na hinihingi namin it's not it's a video that's not even gonna take one minute and mm. that video will start with uh you know uh when you start the video uh, you should be in front of your house tapos kinukunan niyo yung unang bahay with the with the number of uh, you know your your house number and then either go inside your house or you know at the side of your house and then go to the back mm -hmm. and then uh, pitasin ninyo yung inyong entry and uh, what we, we we will not look at all of them but we will be doing spot check right. so pagdating po sa ano event itself napaka smooth niyan so uh -huh. parang talagang legal na panalo but you know after the event it's possible that you will receive a phone call or you know uh, that uh, we want to see your proof and uh -huh. Kung, kung dinaya nyo pala, then uh, you will have to return back the the price, the price that we give you. Kaya, it's a simple thing that you need to do. Uh, ilalagay po namin yun sa aming mechanics. Ayan po. Doon sa mechanics, walk us through ate. During that event na, dala-dala ko yung upo ko, yes. nag-submit na ako ng video. Walk yes. us through anong mga expectation nila during that event. I see. We will make it uh, for the upo category. Uh -huh. uh, kasi napakahirap nito. Uh, we will make it uh, a bit easier this year by uh, providing uh, customized crate. Kasi dati talagang hawak nilang gano'n, no? Dalawang tao, tatlong tao, di ba? At saka napakaano niya yan. I mean, very fragile, fragile yan. Yes. yes. So part of the... And, and you know, I want to tell as well that, you know, I'd like to, to thank the Manitoba government, uh, the Minister of Arts, uh, Culture and Sports, kasi nakakuha kami ng funding. So part of that funding... Will, will be to build that customized crate na pwede namin gamitin year on year. Kaya pag, pagdating nila doon and you are an entry holder, mm -hmm. may nakaabang na doon, bibigyan kayo ng crate. Ang huwag nyo lang kakalimutan dalhin ay kumot. Bakit Because, ba? so that we want the element of surprise. I para see. alam mo, hindi yung, yung ano, maganda kasi yung up to the end, parang kakabaka-baka ba na oh. akin na ba ang pinakamahaba ba? or may mas mahaba pa? <laughs> di ba So, if uh, if may kumot yon wala silang idea uh -huh. ganon siguro kung walang na lang kumot may may mayroon kami mga spare don pero yun po ang uh, improvement ngayon at mas madali siya uh -huh. dahil hindi ka na matatakot na baka ma maputol, maputol. ganon and uh, pagdating yun it's gonna be the same process na mayroon tao sa registration and then you will be uh, asked to go to the UPO station. Ang may access lang po sa UPO station are the volunteers at saka yung may entry ng UPO. Uh -huh. Kasi doon iiwan, then uh, imemeasure, lalagyan ng pangalan. We will also try to implement this year putting a pseudoname. Oh, yeah, para na. hindi alam. Hindi, diba? alam. hindi na alam kung sino yung may-ari. Uh -huh. Ganon. Um, and hopefully, we'll be able to implement that. Para hanggang huli, eh, talagang hindi mo alam Kaka who's gonna be the winner. Yeah. So again, guys, napaka-exciting yeah. po na itong Upo Fest na ito. No? At uh, hopefully po, magpatubo na kayo <laughs> ng Upo ninyo. And a, a, another reason why exciting siya, kasi ka, kahit winay na namin sa likod yan, iwiway namin ulit yan sa harap ng mga tao. Ayan. And they don't know kung kanino upo. Kanino. And then, Ime measure rin namin yan ulit sa harap ng tao and they don't know who owns that upo. Ayun ang maganda. Very, very, very <laughs> transparent po punch. tayo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dun, so, okay na. na measure na. Okay, Discuss yes. natin yung ano. What's next po doon? Idi-distribute ba? O lulutuin ang local chef? Oh, yes. Uh, pagkatapos noon, kasi napakaraming upo yan. <laughs> Ganun. And syempre, may mga volunteers doon na favorite nila yung upo. Misa nga, sponsor na pumunta rin doon. Tapos, talagang okay lang ba yung nagkaputol-putol na upo kanya na lang yung Walter. Uh -huh. So, a portion of it, uh, we give to the volunteers para uh -huh. ma-enjoy nila yung mga backyard uh -huh. na upo, di ba? And a uh, big portion of it, we donate to Filcasa. Oh, that's a good point. Yes, kasi ang nasa Filcasa are, you know, yung mga matatandang Pilipino and we want them na matikman ulit yung upo na may miswa, yung mga comfort mm -hmm. food natin. Kaya last year, yung malandag lalaki hang upo, they were picked up and they were uh, brought to Filcasa. And hopefully, nag-enjoy sila dun sa mga upo na yun. Maraming minswa yun. Yes. <laughs> or ginisa, whatever is there, you know, is their uh, recipe for that. Nabangin niyo kanina may pinakbet. Sino nagluto po ng uh, local chef natin? O local... Oh, that's a good question. Uh -huh. Um, 
so may may pinakbet last year um and we tried to fill that huge uh, pot malaki talaga yon si Pansilyati uh, pero <laughs> nagpisa na kasing nagmahal ang gulay nun eh so I think we were able to fill up to half of that tapos ang ating uh, nagluto noon were three volunteers who used to work at at the casino restaurant. Mm-hmm. So, si Estrella, si Yolanda, at saka si Ate Anisha. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, they, they were like cooks for a long time. Um, and they volunteered to do the cooking. This year, magkakaroon ulit tayo ng cooking, but we're yet to decide kung, kung gulay ba ulit na ng pakbet. Because, you know what? That's why we encourage people, if you wanna, you wanna have a taste of yung mga pakbet, gulang mm-hmm. lang, mag ano kayo na lang mag uh, you know plant it because it's so expensive so we're yet to know if we will have the same or a different dish mm-hmm. uh, so yun yung mga kasama sa mga decision namin but definitely there will be community cooking and the result of that community cooking uh, that will be distributed to everybody to everybody and the pakbet uh, last year were distributed to everyone with the priority doon sa mga mothers na may malilit na bata at saka doon sa mga senior people natin. Ayan. Sobrang saya talaga last year. So speaking of saya, uh, during the event, magkakaroon pa ng entertainers? Definitely. Uh-huh. So uh, merong song numbers tayo. And then other than that, meron tayong yung mga some, some sort of parlor games. Mm-hmm. Ganon. Uh, so uh, walang downtime. Definitely walang downtime yung uh, gagawin natin na Upo Festival. During the Ubo Festival at that time, magkakaroon ba ng educational discussion about the importance of vegetables, growing of vegetables? Um, last, last year, um, ang maganda nun kasi yung, the winners, they gave a tip on how to, to grow yung um, the, the longest Ubo, parang, uh, like the tips. And, and you know what? Ang hirap niyan kasi if you really want to, if you're serious about it, hindi pwedeng basta-basta trellis lang. Dapat yung trellis talaga na mat- matibay at mataas. Uh-huh. Ganun, at may means ka kung paano mo yung pipitasin nang hindi mapuputol. So we had a very good discussion about it. This year, we're looking at uh, having a discussion or, or you know a person to talk to them mm-hmm. about organic gardening. Yes. Because wala pa tayo sa level na, oh, nag, ano, was it, you know, did you put an organic... Uh, Uh, fertilizer or bumili ka lang ba nang walang nakasulat na, na organic, you know, uh-huh. because you know, between organic and a fertilizer that's synthetic, yung organic kasi mas sustainable, it doesn't alter the soil, mm-hmm. ganon, so as much as possible, you know, we want to be of course, environment friendly, ganon, we want, you know, the next generation to still, you know, enjoy the soil that mm-hmm. we enjoy right now yeah. Speaking of himayin lang pa natin dalawa yung point oh, yeah. for <laughs> no speaking problem, of, speaking of next generations are we involving local schools dito para sa information dissemination we, po. yeah we are not yet at that level but just uh-huh. like you know the bilingual program we will see what's the appetite you know uh-huh. uh when it comes to to like uh, something that's tailored to the filipino community but you know the trend right now is ganun eh. i mean uh-huh. uh this is one country that's uh diverse and you know it it encourages uh like developing Uh, your your own I mean developing more and and you know letting the children experience your own culture so that will be one of the direction that we mm-hmm. are looking at but I know that the schools talagang may mga tanim-tanim sila ngayon yung iba nga may alaga pang manok eh. so uh-huh. it's gonna be very nice to see na dun sa tanim nila merong kasamang sitaw di ba uh-huh. may kasamang patane di ba so yung mga at saka yung uh, Merong sili, right? Sili na labuyo. So, uh-huh. it's uh, maganda na, na ano yun. Uh, eventually, ma-inject rin natin yun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, you know, there are many, especially at the north side of the city, maraming mga batang Pinoy, mm-hmm. di ba? So, uh, it's one of the things that, you know, we, would, we, we will be more than happy. You know, basta't magkaroon lang kami ng opportunity. Ayan po. So, yan yung makikita natin sa future yes. po. No? Like 204 yes. at saka Upo Dalingan, Festival. Yes. So, celebrating, celebrating our culture, not just, you know, by wearing our clothes, not just by uh, dancing tinikling. Kasi kausap ko nga yung pamangkin ko kanina, sa school niya, meron raw silang potluck for tinikling dancers, uh-huh. di ba? So, why not... Uh, part of it will be gardening and then yung mga ethnic Asian vegetables ang 
itatanim, itatanim. nila. Yes. Kasi maganda yan po, nakita po natin sa ibang community na nagtatanim po yung mga bata. Experience po nila, at saka maging educational po sa kanila, ano ba yung sili, ano yeah. ba yung okra, ano That's ba yung right. upo. <laughs> so, and mapopromote rin yung organic farming plus yes. yung cycling. That's right, that's yes. right. Oo. Speaking of organic gardening, lipat tayo sa yes. <laughs> gardening. No? Yeah. <laughs> Nagbabalik tayo sa upo mamaya. Oo. <laughs> Dito po sa Winnipeg po, te, it's called, ano ba yung zone 3 gardening? Yeah. <laughs> ano ba yung zone 3 gardening, uh-huh. I see. So, I'm, I'll discuss this on the perspective of an ethosia. So, Correct. hindi ako, hindi ako agriculture, you know, uh, hindi ako titulado sa agriculture, but I've been doing backyard gardening for the past three years lang. They, sometimes they call me green thumb, pero Google, <laughs> siguro Google thumb yun, eh. <laughs> because hindi naman talagang sobrang pinakamayayabong yung, yung mga tanim ko. But, you know, when we say uh, zone 3 guard, uh, gardening, ibig sabihin ang, ang, ang ating, uh, not Canada, because malapad ang Canada, but itong Winnipeg, Winnipeg, and of course, portions of Manitoba is a zone 3 hardy um, area mm-hmm. in sa ating globe. Ganon. Mm-hmm. So, of course, ang Philippines iba yung hardiness. Man, because all throughout the year, most crops you can grow there, di ba? Pero dito, four seasons tayo. Mm-hmm. Tapos napaka-iksi ng ating uh, summer. Ng ating summer. Mm-hmm. Ganon. And uh, pinag-divide-divide yan kasi naman ng mga expert. And yun ang tinatawag na zone 3 hardened area. So, may mga perennial dito. Ibig sabihin, um, pagdating ng spring, mabubuhay yan. Tapos, magpa-flourish ng summer, mamamatay ng fall. Buhay na naman the following year. Mm-hmm. Ganon. Tapos, a zone 3 hardened, hindi, ibig sabihin, hindi tayo pwedeng mag ano mag uh, tanim ng annual pwede pwede tayong magtanim ng annual dito so ang malaking difference sa isang zone 3 uh, gaya natin ikumpara mo sa Pilipinas and even ikumpara mo sa ibang areas in the US because you know it's uh, like in California you can uh, mas mahaba yung kanilang time di ba mm-hmm. to to plant um, dito kasi um, if you want to harvest by by starting mid of July, ganun, uh, yun ang peak ng, ng harvest in August up to early September, ibig sabihin, dapat yung halaman mo, itatanim mo, may ganyan nakahaba, di ba? By first or second week of June. Uh-oh. But how can that happen, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, ayun ang challenge sa, sa Zone 3, which is why I really congratulate yung mga nagtatanim at nagda, nagpapadala ng, I mean, sumasali sa event namin kasi it's a lot of hard work. Mm-mm. Kung if you're the type of person na nag nag uh, you germinate ng seedlings mo, and that's that's something I do. Then yeah, kayo rin, yes. yes, you do the germination. Some of it as early as March, mm-hmm. uh, some of it uh, April. Then kakaunti yung ide direct sowing mo pagdating mm-hmm. ng first or second week of June. Yung yung early ger- germination before June, you have to do it inside your house. Sa loob ng bahay Sa loob ng bahay. Uh-uh. Yes. So, ibig sabihin, ang backyard garden mo nasa loob ng bahay mm-hmm. bago mo siya ilabas. Labas, yes. Ganon. And let's say, ayan, nasa loob ng bahay, naalagaan mo naman, di ba? Tapos, uh, kailangan mo nang ilipat sa labas mm-hmm. para eventually mapakinabangan. Hindi pwedeng paglipat mo sa labas, diretso tanim. Oh, no. Ano yung, ano yung gitna? Masa yeah. shock yan. Para yung nasa Winnipeg ka ng 10 years, biglang pumunta ka sa Pilipinas and then naglalakwartya ka na sa hindi sa mall sa labas. Uh-oh. No. But uh, you have to do the hardening na tinatawag. Ibig sabihin, gradually, on a daily basis, uh, mag-start ka na ilabas mo muna ng 1 hour, pasok mo ulit. The first day, second day, ilabas mo muna ng 2 hours, pasok mo ulit. Third day would be half day, ipasok mm-hmm. mo ulit. And then, uh, uh, after perhaps uh, 5 days, overnight na sa labas. Oh, so then another overnight, mo yes, acclimatize mo siya. Uh-oh. And then, saka mo siya itatanim. Yeah, and it's really important kasi may mga bin- binigyan ako ng mga seedlings. Uh, I think I gave away uh, close to 300 seedlings. Mm-hmm. Uh, marami na matayan. Because, not because of the harsh condition, kundi sobrang excited. Oo, oh, ganun talaga. <laughs> yeah, so sabi ko nga, ang nakakapatay ng seedlings, yung hindi marunong maghintay. No? Oh. Yung parang uh, hindi pernakis yung hardening, dinerecho ka agad hanggang sa, oh my God, Bakit namatay. na namatay? Ganun. So, yun po yung difference. So, it's a lot of hard work talaga. Um, at saka, just imagine how much space do you have, mm-hmm. di ba, inside your house. And bahay. then, 
bukod ng pag sobrang dry yung bahay mo, it can have an effect on the plant as well. Oh. Yeah, kasi ayaw na ayaw ng, bahay, ng, ng plant yung sobrang dry. So, it's really tricky. Oh, oh. So, ayaw mo rin naman na yung, yung bintana mo, eh, magkaroon ng molds, right? Oh, oh. So, kailangan mo talagang timplahin lahat. Ganon. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That is why, come the Upofest, it's a celebration. Yeah. Ganon. Kasi ang hirap ng pinagdaanan ng both ng yes. halaman. At saka yung sacrifice ng That's tao. That's right. Pero iba rin naman ang feeling na andyan na, pwede ka nang mag-harvest. Like, I have two sisters. Pagka-summer, pagka-harvest time, pupunta yan sa bahay. Diretso yan sa likod. <laughs> And then, see, you know, Tita Adele, right? Yeah. Makita ko, nakasampa pa yung sa bakod, nangunguha ng, <laughs> ng talbos yung, ng ampalaya. ampalaya. Iba yung pakiramdam. Talagang self-care. Yung, yung ibinabalik niya sa iyo is uh, worth it. Yes. Kahit matagal yung sacrifice. Yes. Very <laughs> worth it. Ngayon po. Ngayon po, na, na, <laughs> Na-discuss ni Ate Lila yung strategies na kung paano i-maximize po yung ating productivity sa garden and yung effective ways po kung paano po uh, yung pagtatanim. No? From sa loob, labas, loob, labas, then diretso dun po, dun sa, sa soil. Sa, regarding sa soil, ano ba yung specific soil condition na kailangan po nilang malaman? Yeah, um, well, yun nga lang dito... <laughs> Sabi ko nga, yung joke ko dati, eh, kailangan kong bumili ng lupa, apat, akala nila, you know, like, lalagyan ng bahay, di ba? But, you know, I, I am talking here of uh, garden soil. Garden soil, yes. Um, yung, and uh, you have to buy the garden soil. Mm -hmm. It's up to you if you wanna prepare it. Pero, I, I, norm, I don't know how to. But, uh, meron silang tinatawag na, to be safe, may tinatawag na four-way mix mm -hmm. na bibilhin nila. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if... Uh, ang gusto nila is yung parang uh, plant bed. So, mm -hmm. yun ang ilalagay nila. But, para, para medyo makatipid sila, bibili sila ng top soil, which is the black, uh, yung black soil. Black yun soil. ang gagawin nilang pang topping. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the black soil is around just $2.99 and then, I think $6 or $7 per bag naman yung, yung four-way mix. Um, sa umpisa lang, maano, parang, ang sakit sa bulsa. Ang sakit sa bulsa. You will be, <laughs> you will be using it, you know, uh -uh. for, For, you know, as long as you are in that house and you, and you still want to do gardening. So, so umpisa lang. And if you want uh, a plant bed as well, so merong nabibili, pwede rin nyo rin naman na uh -huh. go to Home Depot and then, uh, I mean, uh, just just use power tools uh -huh. and makakabuild na kayo kaagad. Mm -hmm. So, yun mga, ano po, mga yeah. natin sa, especially sa Philippines. <laughs> Dito po talaga sa Canada po, yeah. binibili po kami ng binibili lupa. Binibili lahat. <laughs> and, and you know what? And I think we will go there as well about the, the fertilizer. Yes, and fertilizer. we talk about the organic and inorganic. So, um, there is the NPK. So, yes. ito self-study lang ginagawa ko. So, you know, pwede akong i-criticize ng mga natapos yung agriculture. So, uh, uh, it's nitrogen, phosphorus, K is for the potassium. Mm -hmm. um, so, yung unang inilalagay is yung nitrogen. But, Pagka bumili ka ng uh, the pupu ng kalabaw, ganon. Mm. Uh, cows dung. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. That's sobrang daming nitrogen na nun. Mm. Yan. So, kung yun ang binili mo, huwag ka nang bumili. That mm -hmm. should be sufficient. Um, and pag lumalaki na ang, malaki na yung, lumalaki na siya, like medyo marami ng dahon, you have to stop putting nitrogen. Dapat uh -huh. nga ano eh. So, umpisa lang. Because you're gonna end up with, grabe yung lush niya, ang dami niyang dahon, pero mm -hmm. wala kang bunga. Wala bunga. O kasi yeah. bumata lahat sa dahon eh. And then, uh, so, pag medyo lumalaki na siya, you have to use the the phosphorus. Ang phosphorus, ang, ang ginagawa niyan, pinapalaki yung mga ugat. Mm -hmm. Ganun. And in my case, I buy at Amazon yung, um, they call it kuwango, which okay, is yung ipot ng, uh, yeah, ipot ng paniki, paniki, ipot ng kabag. And uh, yeah, there is from the Philippines, so that's what I use. Mm -hmm. Tapos, pagka bumubulaklak na, then uh, use potassium. Kasi mm -hmm. potassium, the potassium itself is not, pag pumunta siya sa, sa halaman, it's, it doesn't contribute anything, but the potassium helps the plant absorb yung lahat ng magagandang nutrients mm -hmm. sa soil. Ganon. So, uh, at certain point, you have to stop, like, pagka, pagka bumubulaklak niya, you, now you have to stop putting potassium, it, uh, sorry, uh, phosphorus, phosphorus, it should just be the potassium. Uh -huh. Ayan. Tapos may certain, er <laughs> may certain areas lang na saan ilalagay. That's right, side dressing, uh, gano'n. Yeah. So, ano yun? I'm just an enthusiast. And yeah, it works, gano'n. So, uh, yun lang ang mga ko-contribute ko about the NPK. <laughs> trial and error din. 
Pwede na rin pag ano, uh, sa, fla- sa beds naman natin, mapapansin naman natin yeah. kung saan tayo nagkamali, then mararemedyo naman, naman po oh. next year. <laughs> okay po. Uh, Tilila, I know we're running out of time. We have some online questions po. Okay po. Um, balik tayo sa management. Nabagay ka kanina yung process, yung brainstorming, then after that, oh, ano ba yung ga pwede natin ma-improve for next year? Ano ba yung mga tips natin pwedeng i-share sa kanila? Oh, uh, so is it on the process? On yung, the process I po. See. Dun sa oh, festival so yun, nangyari na yung festival. I see. Alam mo may tweaks and turns. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So uh, normally, uh, talagang uh, you have to, to put together the people, uh, including the stakeholders. Mm-hmm. So yun ang hindi ko na nasabi kasi na definition kanina. So uh, when, you, when you talk to people, not just the volunteers, not just yourself, but there are also the stakeholders. Itong stakeholders na to are those who are directly and indirectly affected by your events. So, possible kasama dito yung mga uh, president or yung mga community leaders. And then if if you know your your advocacy, the advocacy of your event is about agriculture, then perhaps you know uh, uh, p- uh, isama niyo ang minister of agriculture, anyone who's e- expert on that. And then the process for the lessons learned. Uh, we, we used to call it post-mortem. Kaya lang parang napaka-morbid ng post-mortem, no? But uh, y- you list down what worked well, mm-hmm. and then what did not work well, okay. and then what will be improved uh, the next time. Mm-hmm. Ganon. Um, so it's it's very it's very important that when you you close the the project na gagawin yun. Kaya ang, ang ginagawa namin, pagka hindi masyadong nag-okay, then we eliminate that uh you know that specific uh, thing or segment. Halimbawa, for next year, uh, ang gagawin namin because nahirapan talaga kami dati na ang we were using the arena, which which was very which is very big, di ba? Mm-hmm. And our stage is like a uh, hundred meters away from the entrance. Mm-hmm. So, tapos yung yung volunteers quarter namin is also hundred meters away from the stage. So talagang alam mo yan puro lakad. Puro so lakad. there was so much wasted wastage of effort so now we're using a smaller venue mm-hmm. because there's no more pandemic mm-hmm. and magkakatabi na ang kitchen magkakatabi na yung volunteers quarter magkakatabi na yung stage ganon so yun yung mga tinatawag natin na what what improvements do we need to Correct. do so yeah. lahat po yan very important although kahit planado planado na po festival po yan very liquid po yan uh, marami mangyayari mga challenges one more last question, Ate. Those challenges at the time or during the event, how do you handle those ones? Um, number one, if you can, uh, so so part of sorry, part of the planning is the the what you call the the risk uh, identification and mitigation. Correct. Ganon. Talagang mm-hmm. part ng process yon. Ibig sabihin is uh, itatanong mo na kaagad yung what could go wrong. Correct. Ganon. Tapos may sagot ka. Pero kahit may ganon. Uh, talagang meron pa rin. <laughs> eh, hindi talaga dumating eh. <laughs> Di ba? Ganon. So, ano naman yun eh. I mean, it's not, ang, ang advice ko, it's not a matter of life and death. Pag talagang hindi nagmaterialize, hindi dumating ang pizza, di ba? I mean, there's such thing as acceptance. Accept mm-hmm. it. You know, and uh, what's important is na hindi natin dapat i, i ano, hindi natin dapat i, hindi i-consider at at talagang dapat ay ito ang mangyari ang ating volunteers themselves should enjoy the event that's why dito ang uh, pagka pinapunta ko volunteers with all their family and then uh, I told them I'm gonna have snacks for all your family members and there will be a volunteers quarter as well because kung sino man ang, ang dapat na ano I mean very relaxed at that time and also enjoying it should be the volunteers Yan po ang and we've always done manager. that. <laughs> we've always done that. Bring the entire family. <laughs> yung from bottom line po doon. Bring the family, enjoy, yes. and learn, and accept. That's yun, right. Yun po yeah. yung mga lessons learned natin today. Final words, Atirila, invite them to our UPO Festival. Yes, so, I'm so excited to announce to you that on September 2nd, it's going to start at 2 p.m. Magkakaroon po tayo ng UPO Festival. Last year, ang nanalo was for the length more than 8 feet. Oh, Kahit medyo hindi sila makapaniwala. And, you know, it's close to 10 kilos, I believe, dun sa bigat. Mm-hmm. Um, alam nyo, uh, 
um, it's you may watch uh, virtually, but it's best to go there. Because talagang alam mo, if you need to do a self care, do yeah. that. And uh, other than yung yung mga contest na yon, I also am encouraging people who have backyard vegetables. Halimbawa, sobrang dami yung talong nila. Dali nyo doon and ibenta ninyo or barter with, the, let's say you want uh, patani, merong nagdala ng patani or kamatis, you can barter it. And people did uh, bring a lot of, uh, um, I mean, uh, uh, brought to the venue a lot of uh, vegetables. Ang dami rin namin na ipamigay. Oh, ang ganda concept ng yeah. tema. Yeah. And people, pa. yes, and people brought home yung ano, uh, isang ganyan ng ng uh, freshly cooked pakbet. So and we will have the same it may not be pakbet, it might be something else. Mm -hmm. And those pakbet ginayat siya ng mga politicians. 'Di ba pag nandiyan politicians parang uh, yeah. you know, halos uh, lumuhod tayo, but you know, they they cut the pakbet, they prepared it. Uh, mm -hmm you know, bago na iluto ng mga volunteer cook natin. Ayun. Ayun. Ay, you know, the community, community coming together for, you know, that kind of thing. Walang sobrang sophisticated, sobrang simple, simple. and yet, it's so beautiful. Correct. Simple. Yung word na simple, yeah. barter. <laughs> yeah. Pwede rin kayo magdala. Tama sabi natin, hindi lang dala kayo ng mga excess po ninyo. Then, seedlings, ginagawa yeah, rin po seedlings. Yes. So, there were people who gave away uh, yung upo seedlings, seedlings ng sunflower. Natutuwa nga ako because, you know, they just wanted to give them away. You know, so yung mga pumunta doon, parang they just want people to be happy and they they gave them away. Okay. Patuwa. Last time, <laughs> September 2, Atilila? Yeah. Yes, 2, 2 p.m. at Maple's Community Center. It is at, at uh, number 434 Adsum Drive at Maple's area. So, Please come. Then let's say may may nakaschedule kayo on that day. Then uh, you know, uh, watch virtually. But kung meron po kayo yung backyard vegetables, dalhin po ninyo. And of course, yung mga entries ninyo na I'm sure inaalagaan yun ay mga plants ngayon. Please uh, bring them on that day. And you know, join the contest and have fun too. Yun. Yeah. Speaking <laughs> of fun, September two or you can message at Lila Facebook po. Ando po siya very 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 yes. active po siya. <laughs> Okay po. So, salamat na salamat po, ate. So, again, come join us at the Upo Festival this coming September 2, 2023 at Maple's Community Center from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. So, we will savor the flavors, the vibrant entertainment, and together let's cultivate a greener future and embrace a delicious possibilities of vegetables that bring us to our table. Thank you, ate for yes, our thank invitation. You, thank maraming, you, everyone. Maraming Take care, po. po. Dito po sa 899 Action Center, may problema kayo, may solusyon kami. Thank you, po.